Hello students, this is Dr. Ben. I'd like to work through another problem that has to do with rotational equilibrium from chapter 8. So here we have the classic problem of supporting a sign with a, a horizontal boom that's hung from a building. And we can see that some of the forces that are acting on the boom have already been indicated. So the sign that is at the end of the boom has a weight of 120 newtons. So let's call that capital W and the weight of the boom itself is 80 newtons, we'll call that little w, and we need to add the reaction forces between the boom and the wall at the position of the hinge, so we'll label those f sub x and f sub y like indicated in the problem. And what we want to do are to find the values of the tension that supports this sign, and then the values of these two reaction forces, Fx and Fy. All right, so this is a problem that has to do with rotational equilibrium. So we will use that the net torque that acts on the boom, which is our object of interest, is equal to zero. And if we look on the force diagram, we count up one, two, three, four, five. There are five forces, but there are only three torques. The weight of the sine, the weight of the boom, and the tension are the only forces that cause torque because the two reaction forces act at the pivot point and, and hence their distance r is equal to zero. So the net torque equation is only going to have three terms, the torque due to the weight of the sine plus the torque due to the weight of the boom plus the torque due to the tension are all going to have to add up to zero. All right, so we can go ahead and, and work through those. So let's let the symbol L represent the, the length of the boom. So first of all, we have the torque due to the weight of the sine. So the sine is going to make the boom rotate clockwise on its own, so its torque will be negative, and it will be equal to the value of that force, capital W, times the length times the sine of 90 degrees. All right, the weight of the boom is located at the center of mass, so its torque is also negative. It makes the boom rotate clockwise, and it's equal to little w times L over 2 times the sine of 90 degrees. And then finally, the tension is going to cause the boom to rotate counterclockwise, and so its torque would be positive, and so the torque will be equal to the tension multiplied by the distance that's given in the problem, 2.38 meters, and we really need to have this angle between the tension and the, and the, uh, and the boom. So 180 minus 35 is 145 degrees. And so we want to solve this expression for the tension. So let's go ahead and rearrange it. T times 2.38 times the sine of 145 degrees will be equal to capital W times L plus little w times L over 2. All right, rearranging a little bit more. The tension is then going to equal 120 newtons times 3 meters plus 80 newtons times 1.5 meters divided by 2.38 times the sine of 145 degrees. So we can get our calculator out and work that number out. So 120 times 3 equals 360 plus 180 times 1.5, which is 120. So that gives us 480 divided by 
divided by 145 sine and that gives us 352 352 newtons. So the value of the tension will be equal to 352 newtons and that will cause this beam boom to be in horizontal static equilibrium. Alright, so now we can go ahead and find the values of the reaction force. So to find the value of F of X, we would want to set the net force in the X direction equals zero. So if we go back to our force diagram, we can see that there are only two forces that have X components, and that's the tension and the force that we have labeled F of X. And we see the X component of the tension is minus T times the cosine of 35. So we have minus T times the cosine of 35 degrees plus the reaction force in the X direction equals zero. So therefore the reaction force in the X direction equals T times the cosine of 35 degrees. So we take our 252 newtons times 35 cosine and that equals 290, 288 newtons. So that's the value of the reaction force in the x direction. And then we do the same thing in the y direction to find the other reaction force. The net force in the y direction is equal to zero. So we'll have plus t times the sine of 35 degrees minus the weight of the painter minus the weight of the beam plus the reaction force on the hinge in the y direction equals zero. So therefore F sub y is going to equal capital W plus little w minus t times the sine of 35 degrees. All right, so 352 times 35 sine is 202 plus the 120 newtons for the painter plus the 80 newtons for the platform equals 402 newtons. So the reaction force that acts at the position of the hinge in the y direction is equal to 402 newtons and in the x direction it equals 288 newtons and as we found in the first part of the problem the tension in the cable supporting the boom is equal to 352 newtons. So we had to use torques in order to find one of the forces and then we use Newton's first law in order to find the other two.